do now is the high plank cobra to pike. So the cobra position is that face up, chest up motion, and the pike position is the face down, backside in the air motion. So if you come down, we're going to do normal high plank position, but from here we're going to drop the pelvis and look up to here, so pull the shoulders back as well, yeah, without actually touching the floor, and then from there, we're going to go the opposite, arms in line, with shoulders if you can, legs straight if you can, don't worry too much about back straight, it's more about getting your backside in the air, drop down into the other position, sink back into that position, does that make sense? Yeah, okay. So it's a double movement. We're going to work the stretch of abdominals on the way down. It really opens up the front of our body. So we're talking superficial front line when it comes to my fashion lines. Great posture correction. And then it gives us a nice motion on the way back, sticking the backside in the air. So head up, shoulders back. So try and externally rotate good. We've got a little bit of retraction of the shoulder blades. And from here, we're trying to get flat back if we can, but that's pretty good at the legs. So there's a big element of flexibility and mobility. Let's go for 10 if you can. Good. Again, if I could take this kneeling position, it's going to allow me to get up to my client's level. Pretty good posture. And the more you do it, the more it's going to flatten out through here your vertebrae. You're going to get used to positioning. It's quite difficult the first few reps. Good. So now you can see it's starting to get more and more aligned the more that Sam goes through the, the set. Good. Feel okay? Quite a big element of testing your hamstring flexibility at the top as well. So remember, with flexibility, we don't have to do it statically. Dynamic movement will help because you're shortening the length of the muscle through movements like this. And this is similar to yoga. So I think there's variations of this in yoga. Don't know the exact names, but you can imagine it's like downward dog is one of them. So this one here. And then you've got the Sphinx or the Cobra the other way. Good. So there's quite a bit of strain in your shoulders now as well, so it's good for muscular endurance. Good movement, nice control. to doing it the other way we've done it so far. Yeah. See, you've got a bit of a sweat on there as well. It's a, it's, a, it's a challenging one. It's a good one to have for, you can either use it as part of your mobilization, but we'd like, like to use it as a standalone core exercise because it really does develop that transition from the legs to the upper body and back to the legs again. So that one was a dynamic high plank, cobra to pike. 